Everyone questioned Craig Lieberman's mental state when the food importer showed up at a major trade show in 2008 with a single line of specialty deli crackers instead of the 60-odd Australian foods he typically represented. According to Lieberman, people were approaching me, asking me if I was okay. When Lieberman started his business, it was pretty much a small importing business in Denver, Colorado called 34 Degrees, supplying wine and artisan foods he had found in Australia. Although his wares were popular, Lieberman wasn't actually making profit. To him, since he wasn't making profit, it means he wasn't setting the world on fire. So, it was time for something to change. Co-founder of Google and Chief Executive Officer of Alphabet Incorporated, Larry Page once shared his thoughts on learning to take a risk. In this video, I'll share with you one of Larry Page's advice about learning to take a risk. This I believe will help you become a successful person. If you are new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now, according to Page, if you are not doing some things that are crazy, then you are doing the wrong things. Remember what people said about Lieberman? A lot of people including family and friends doubted his sanity when he said he wanted to streamline his products to just one. You see, bakeries typically produce a range of products to spread risk and satisfy broad taste preferences. For Lieberman to decide against that, I guess you now have an idea of how huge this risk was going to be. Neil Armstrong once said that there can be no great accomplishment without risk, for it is only those who will risk going too far that can possibly find out how far one can go," T.S. Eliot added. Although the outcome for taking a risk could either be positive or negative, however, learning to take a calculated risk will most certainly lead to a positive outcome. Why You Should Take Risks 1. It helps you to overcome fear and pushes you out of your comfort zone. Fear of failure, disappointment, or fear of the unknown has been some of the contributing factors for not taking risk. Taking risk, however, is one of the best ways to overcome your fears, any fear whatsoever and step out of your comfort zone. And when you do, you will likely find that you care less about what people think and about what could go wrong, which is a powerful shift in thinking. 2. It generates new possibilities When you take risk, you are putting yourself out of your comfort zone and opening up new opportunities for yourself. Because you are taking a path you haven't taken before, you are bound to discover new things and if you keep an open mind, you will recognize several opportunities and possibilities. 3. It teaches you some vital lessons Even if you fall flat on your face or you lose everything after taking a risk, you'd have gained valuable insight and experience from failure which means that you're putting yourself out there and trying something new will change how you approach similar situations in the future. Also, taking a risk will lead to a boost of self-confidence and you'll be able to reflect on all of your experiences and know that there wasn't a thing you missed out on. Remember what Paige said? If you're not doing some things that are crazy, then you're doing the wrong things. Doing things that are crazy in this case means doing things that make people question your sanity. However, remember that in taking risk, you need to be well informed. Do not take a risk because every other person is taking a risk or because Google co-founder Larry Page said that if you are not doing some things that are crazy, then you are doing the wrong things. No, ensure you take calculated risk. Charles Duhigg, American journalist and author said, between calculated risk and reckless decision-making lies the dividing line between profit and loss. Also, Craig Elliott, renowned illustrator and visual development artist said, A chance is what you take before you think about it. A calculated risk is what you take after you have evaluated all possible factors and have determined that risk. Business Dictionary defines calculated risk as a chance of exposure to loss or injury that might be undertaken after its advantages and disadvantages have been carefully weighed and considered. Calculated risk make the difference between an ordinary and an extraordinary life, which is why we consider Page's statement, If you are not doing some things that are crazy, then you are doing the wrong things. Valid. 
How to Take Calculated Risk 1. Do Your Research Georgette Mosbaka said that the difference between a calculated risk and rolling the dice can be expressed in one word, homework. Information makes a difference. Ensure that you do proper research and evaluation. As a matter of fact, gather as much valuable information as possible and identify all the courses of action. Afterwards, list the possible outcomes to weigh your options and understand every little detail and nuance of your decision. Doing this will ensure that you are not driven by emotion or held back by fear. However, if there are too many potential mistakes, it indicates that the risk is too high and you should probably move on to another. Remember, the goal of this is to ensure that you win instead of depending on luck. 2. Prepare for a worst-case scenario Once you have listed the possible outcomes, you should prepare for the worst-case scenario in order to remove any anxiety should this turn out to be the outcome. Ask questions like these. What if I end up losing this deal? What course of action will I take? Or if this project lags behind, what will my next deadline be? Not only should you think about the worst-case scenario, but you should also put plans in place to tackle this situation. 3. Take small risk. Go one step at a time. Start one step at a time. Conquer your fear of failure by starting with smaller risks that do not involve excessive losses. Then you can begin attempting bigger risks as you grow and learn. Remember our friend, Lieberman, the food importer who was ready to streamline production at his bakery to a single line of specialty deli crackers? Lieberman eventually managed to get $500,000 gathered together from friends and family and turned his import business into 34 degrees a domestic manufacturer of just one product, a wafer-thin Australian-style cracker. According to him, it was an educated gamble that I took because the type of crackers we wanted to make were already selling really well in the US, he says. But the cost of entry to make anything like them was so high that I believed it would keep out a lot of competition. Guess what? In 12 months, he started recording huge successes. We got the model right, Lieberman said, to triple our business in that first year and become really profitable almost instantaneously. That validated the decision. In six years, 34 Degrees distributed its crackers to grocers in all 50 states and Canada and was already generating annual revenue valued at $10 million. Dear friend, if you are aiming for success, always remember Paige's advice. If you are not doing some things that are crazy, then you are doing the wrong things. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.